Hi, this is Brian Kleiman from Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of this video. So today I want to talk about alligators and alligators as pets because a few things came up uh, this past year that uh, maybe want to talk about this today and one of those is there was an alligator that was released into the Westfield River which is uh, just about 10 miles north of us here in Enfield and it was spotted uh, sporadically throughout the summer uh, no one was able to catch it and just a few days ago uh, a fisherman uh, thankfully was able to catch that alligator uh, and I was completely amazed number one that that alligator was still surviving all the way up into December and it seemed like it was in decent health and thankfully that alligator is now in good hands um, it's being rehabilitated but today I just want to talk about alligators as pets and why they don't make great pets so please uh, follow me and we're going to be talking about alligators all right so let's talk about alligators as pets number one they don't make good pets and i know unfortunately in a lot of states um they sell baby alligators at reptile shows in states not too far away from uh, us here in connecticut um, and they're fairly inexpensive and they'll sell these little baby hatchling alligators that, to anybody pretty much um, please don't buy them alligators do not make good pets. Most crocodilians, in fact, I'm gonna go out here on a limb and I might get some pushback on this, but most crocodilians do not make great pets. They have very specific care requirements and many crocodilians, even the dwarf caimans, um, still get pretty big, four or five feet long and pretty powerful animals. So they can do a lot of damage to us. But the most important reason, at least my reasoning, for not having alligators as pets or crocodilians as pets um, because most people can't provide them the proper care. So they'll buy this cute little eight inch hatchling alligator. They're super cute. Um, they're really easy to handle. If they bite you, really, you need a little Band-Aid. It really doesn't hurt. Um, but Spike here is almost two years old. You can see he's almost two feet long. They grow on an average 10 inches or sometimes up to a foot a year. Um, until they reach maturity. So they grow pretty quick. So if you buy a little baby alligator in three or four years, you're gonna have a three or four foot alligator. And a three or four alligator um, needs a very large space to thrive. Um, and not many people can provide that space. And when they get even bigger, you know, an adult alligator, uh, if it's a female, they can get 10, 11 feet and upwards of 300 pounds. Um, so where do all these alligators go when they get too big? Um, there are some rescue places that take them, but a lot of those rescue places have way more alligators than they can handle right now. And unfortunately, a lot of these alligators end up being euthanized, you know, they're being confiscated by the state. People dump them, like that case in the Westfield River. And there was another case, um, I believe in Pennsylvania, my friend Christina went and caught an alligator that was uh, sighted in a, in a river over there. Uh, so people just let them go. Um, and it's not really fair to the animal. You know, it's not this animal's fault that it ended up in these circumstances. So most people, again, don't have the, the knowledge or the, the proper enclosures and knowledge to, to take care of these, uh, these animals. So Spike here, again, he's only two years old. He's two feet long. By this time next year, he's gonna be three feet long. And in about six to eight years, he's going to, if this is a male alligator, he'll be pushing eight or nine feet. And that's a very pretty big animal. So I'll give you a great look at Spike here, and I want to introduce you to another alligator that just came in the other day, actually. Um, and it's kind of a sad situation. When I saw this alligator, uh, it definitely pulled up my heartstrings because he was probably abused, to be honest with you. And he's probably never seen a, a human that was actually loving or caring his entire life. Uh, so I'm going to put Spike away and I'm going to go pull this new alligator out and we're going to talk a little bit about him and his situation. All right, so this alligator uh, came in a couple days ago. Um, he's a young male <laughs> and he's getting some energy back, which is great um, because 
Uh, he was someone's pet here in Connecticut, and it's illegal to keep alligators as pets. Uh, again, as I explained, most people don't have the knowledge uh, to keep crocodilians or how to keep crocodilians, and they don't have the space for crocodilians. Uh, this guy, he's about, I think he's about 49 inches, a little over four feet long. Um, and he was being kept in a big fish tank. Uh, and I can tell you this, I know this because when he first came in, we put him in some water and he immediately started pooping out silicone, strips of silicone. Um, cause he's probably, he was probably eating it, um, out of the corners of that fish tank. Uh, thankfully the silicone passed through. Um, most silicone, as long as it's hardened, isn't super toxic to animals, so hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, but we know from that, just that, he was being kept in a fish tank. Um, but the overall appearance of this alligator um, was really, is not good. I, I almost shed a tear when I first saw him come in because he's a, very emaciated. If you look at his eyes, you can see how sunken in his eyes are and how pronounced his bone is right here. Um, and he's super skinny, and look at the base of his tail. Sometimes you can tell the health of an alligator or a crocodilian by the base of the tail, the thickness. You can see how skinny this is right here. Um, he doesn't have any fat reserves on him whatsoever, and we weighed him in at 11 pounds. So a four foot alligator should be at least twice that weight, if not more. Um, so the person that uh, brought him to me actually wasn't the original owner. The original owner um, didn't want this alligator anymore, so he knew this guy that kept reptiles. Uh, he found out where that guy lived, and he dumped this alligator in the back of his pickup truck and then sped off. Uh, and unfortunately, that guy was away for a couple of days, so that alligator sat in a box in the back of his pickup truck for at least two days, and it's December here in Connecticut. It's pretty cold. Um, so he, uh, thankfully he survived and the guy did the right thing and brought him here and um, we're on our way to rehabilitating him um, and he'll either stay here, you know, if he turns out to be an alligator that we, we can use for educational programs, um, we'll definitely keep him. Um, if he turns into an alligator that doesn't like being held that much, it doesn't tolerate humans, um, then we'll bring him uh, to another place that can use them. But he's a pretty handsome fella nonetheless. Although he's not super happy to be held right now. He did eat a, he ate a mouse the other day. And from the information I gathered too, um, he's pretty much been fed fish all his life. Uh, like goldfish and tilapia fillets. Goldfish um, aren't the healthiest thing for crocodilians to eat all the time. As treats, it's fine, but they can't eat it all the time. Um, and tilapia fillets, which are um, usually bought at grocery stores, are usually have a lot of salt in them. And tilapia as well, especially tilapia raised on farms, are full of antibiotics, um, which isn't good for alligators or for humans to consume a lot of uh, that type of fish. But. Uh, we're doing our best to rehabilitate him, and hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully he does pretty well. So the guy that took him in just had snakes, and he had uh, front-facing vision cages. Um, so this alligator um, got scared, and he put his head through the glass. So he's got a, a nice wound on the side guy has probably been manhandled his entire life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And please don't buy baby alligators. There's lots of great pet reptiles out there. Uh, crocodilians are not one of them. So until next time, me and my hissy gator say, see you later, alligator.